Three named tropical systems, none of which are eyeing southeast Louisiana. Fred moving inland, going to be a big rainmaker. We have Grace that, again, will be worth keeping an eye on as it does look like it'll threaten the southern Gulf, but staying well to our south end. Henri will remain out over the open water, possibly threatening Bermuda over the next several days. So let's take them one at a time and we'll start with Fred, which, as I mentioned, has already made landfall around 215 this morning and basically right about where the computer models and the Hurricane Center had been saying over the past six days this isn't going back to when it was a potential tropical cyclone south of Puerto Rico. Now it was a little bit more west of there, but again, it's very very good for the computer models and the Hurricane Center's forecast. Moving inland now with heavy rainfall, now the big threat as the winds will be diminishing. And thankfully, the storm surge wasn't too great, at least some of the images I've seen, certainly some high water, but nothing that folks in coastal Florida cannot handle. You're also notice some of the brighter cloud tops of the stronger storms are now more on the northern side of the center, and that will continue to plague now folks across Georgia and the Carolinas, Virginia, and even up the east coast with some very heavy rainfall, basically right along and just to the east of the track as it moves northward. As far as we go, we benefited, and you hate to say you benefit, from anything that is giving folks uh, more of a rough time. But on the drier side, we actually had a northerly flow, and that's what kept us under mostly sunny skies all day today with very few showers. Tropical depression grace remains fairly unorganized, at least in terms of that low level circulation, which at the moment is being ripped apart by the very mountainous southeastern Haiti, which again, you don't want to see that. This is the same area that dealt with Fred as well as the earthquake late last week and the, or this weekend. Now the track keeps it kind of moving generally due west, making landfall across the Yucatan or maybe just to the north of Yucatan and then continuing into central Mexico, maybe around Tampico as possibly a category one hurricane. As we've been mentioning, the forecast track really has been fairly steady even as of last Friday. If you remember, we were talking about in her newscast, the track that was being early projected by some of the computer models and some of the models had it turning up the east coast of Florida. If you remember back that far, I was talking about this ridge of high pressure that would start to build in and kind of question how any storm could turn into it. I said it was more likely that it would make its way into the Gulf of Mexico, and that looks like what will happen. And as long as this ridge stays strong over the northern Gulf, storm can't turn into it. So it's just going to keep on moving west. And this high is actually going to lead to us having some fairly hot but dry conditions as we head toward the end of the week and weekend. And then here is Tropical Storm Ahri at the moment, not doing much. It's going to just kind of meander. This is St. George, this is Bermuda, but it looks like it's going to really just kind of sit as eventually we'll see an upper trough come off the east coast, and that will eventually take the storm out over the open waters. Does not look like it'll be threatening land at all. Again, on the dry side of Fred, got to go through all of the names in my head. It's not bad today. Temperatures have not been unusually high. We got into the low 90s, but our dew points have actually been a little bit lower, and that is because we now have more of a northerly flow across the area. Not substantial, but a little bit of a break from some of the more high dew point values we would get in mid August. 94 degrees was our afternoon high, and we really didn't see much in the way of rainfall at all across the area. Temperatures in the 90s, it's mid August after all, but dew points some 60s outside. So that did make it feel a little bit nicer. Again, you almost feel guilty benefiting from anything, but as long as it was just a tropical storm, this is not a devastating by any stretch of the imagination for folks in northwestern Florida. If it was just a tropical storm, then that isn't too bad. But again, you can see that northerly flow over us with only a few showers that we've seen mainly out west and a little bit more toward the Morgan City area had a couple of isolated thunderstorms and we will dry out or stay dry as we continue through the overnight period and going into early tomorrow. Now tomorrow, as Fred continues to move northward, we're going to see more of a return to a southerly wind, which brings back the more typical August humidity and our shower and thunderstorm chances driven by that daytime heating during the midday and afternoon hour. So we'll start to return to more of a typical pattern, taking us down to LaRose tomorrow, a high of around 93 degrees with some scattered storms. The rest of the night tonight, mostly clear and also mostly dry with lows into the 70s, maybe near
near 80 in the metro area. Better chance for a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms around 40% and a high of about 93 degrees. As we head into the rest of the, or at least most of the rest of the week, rain chances at around 50%. Ridge of high pressure that is going to keep grace well down to our south will likely keep us mostly dry, but also send our high temperatures more into the maybe mid to upper 90 degree range. I will take the heat if it keeps the tropics away from us. Indeed. All right. A mysterious sculpture.